Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to deploy a panel app to Hugging Face with five simple steps. Why do we want to do this? Because it's free and it's super simple and you can share your panel app with the world. And uh, yeah, so why not? Let's get started. The first step is to go to the Hugging Face Spaces page and click Create New Space. The second step is just to fill out this form and create a new space. Let's call it Panel Example. You need to select the Space SDK. Let's select Docker. Uh, you can also use Streamlit or Gradial. Because I'm a panel user, I love panel. And uh, Hugging Face doesn't support panel yet. So we can use a Docker image to deploy our panel app. It is okay. It's actually not as hard as you might imagine. It's actually quite simple. I will show you in a bit. We can define if either we want our space to be public or private. Let's make it private first. We can make it public later. Now we can do step three, which is cloning this uh, GitHub repo to your machine. <laughs> and, and then we can start coding. Copy and paste this line, git clone. Open your terminal. I use iTerm, but you can do use whichever terminal tool you like to use. You can do it in VS Code directly also. Let's do git clone. OK, cool. Now you should be able to go to this directory, and then we can see there is a readme there. I uh, can check out what's in this readme. Yeah, just hugging face uh, configurations. We can ignore that for now. OK, step four is the most important step, which is to create the three files we need for our panel app. Let's open up our VS Code. Let's make it bigger. OK, cool. Let's open up this folder in VS Code. And we need to create three files. App.py is where we write our panel app. And then requirements.txt is where we define our package dependencies and what kind of packages we need to run this app. And then finally, we need a Docker file to be able to run our app in a Docker image and a Docker container. Let's start with app.py to create a panel app here. So previously, I have written an article called Three Ways to Build a Panel Visualization Dashboard. Um, in this article, I listed three ways to build a panel app. I'm just going to copy and paste uh, the code. I have also made a video on this. So check it out if you're interested. But for now, we're just going to copy this file. And this app should be ready to go. And then we can go to the requirement.txt. We need two packages for this project. One is panel, and another one is hvplot. hvplot is a plotting tool that is super easy to use. Both panel and hvplot are in the Holovis ecosystem. So I encourage you to check out the docs and learn more about those if you're interested. And finally, in the Docker file, let's go back to the Hugging Face instructions. Let's just copy and paste this for now. And then we can re revise based on our needs. In this Docker file, we specify the base image from Python 3.9, set the working directory as slash code, copy the requirements.txt file to the container, run pip install to install packages into container, and then CMD provides the commands to run our app um, for the container. We need to change this to be able to run our panel apps. What, do we, what we need to do is to do panel serve code app.py. Panel serve will serve this app. And then we need to define the address which is 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 port. The default port in Hugging Face is 7860. So that's what we need right here. And then we need 
um, allow web socket origin as this will be um, my account name and the space name fs space please remember to change this to your username and this to your space name okay that's step four now the final step is just to commit all those files to hugging face and we're done let's see get status yes we created three files and then i'm just going to add everything and then get status get commit panel app get push Okay, now we should see all those files we just created. <laughs> Yay! And then let's wait for Hugging Face to build our app. And now after a few minutes, you can see your app showing up on Hugging Face Space. And it's fully interactive. You can play with this app. You can share this link to whoever you want to share. Oh, before you share that, you need to make it public. Let's make it public first. Make the space public. That's the five steps you need to know to deploy your Panda app. Isn't it easy? You might wonder, what if I need to troubleshoot things that I want to run it locally before I deploy it? Yes, actually, sometimes we need to do that. Uh, and that's a very good practice. So let's see how that works. First of all, you probably need to install Docker. After you have uh, Docker installed, you should be able to use Docker commands in your command line. Okay, the only thing we need to change here is instead of this hugging face um, URL, we need to change it to our localhost 0000.8060 so, so that the app will show up in our localhost. Okay, let's see how Docker works. First of all, we need to build a Docker image. Uh, we call it panel image and we build based on everything in this folder. Next, we can run this Docker image. Docker run, give it a name. Uh, we name the container called panel container 680 to 8680 and then the image name you can see there is a conflict because I have ran this before uh, so which means I need to run docker remove to remove this container first be before I can build it again remove oh Sorry, typo, panel container, and then we can run docker run again. Cool. Now let's see if we can see our app over here. Great, we can see our app running locally. Can we serve multiple panel apps at the same time on Hugging Face? Yes, you absolutely can. Here is an example where I hosted three panel apps. Um, I have one app called Panel Interactive, and I can go back. I have a text analysis app where we do some topic modeling and sentiment analysis and grant analysis. And then we have a trivia game that um, will give us trivia questions so yeah so that's it for this video hope you find it helpful let me know if you have deployed a panel app to hugging face and please share with me i would like to see it thank you bye